Well, South Africa now is now bringing that kind of a, a trial. Maybe South Africa being able to sit this one out when they're talking about criticizing. <laughs> It's a group of cowards. They hide in tunnels. They hide behind civilians. They attack, kill, and mutilate children, women, and they do that. Stop talking about proportion on that. They shot their best shot on October 7th, and they would have taken more lives if they couldn't do that, but they couldn't do it. And now let's also talk about that. Now we're talking about genocide. And now South Africa now is now bringing that kind of a, a trial. Maybe South Africa being able to sit this one out when they're talking about criticizing. <laughs> that one is a Jew by way of ancestry. In other religions, a child is a child is a child and is taught and Israel could be forced to end the war in Gaza and strike a ceasefire within weeks as lawyers debate whether it has committed genocide in Gaza. For the first time in this war, Israel is on trial. A case beginning at the International Court of Justice overnight at The Hague in the Netherlands, brought by South Africa, accusing Israel and the Israeli government of inflicting genocide on the people of Gaza. The accusation is that the highest levels of the Israeli government and military greenlit the, uh, the action and the devastation that has played out in Gaza over recent months. This court case itself will go on for potentially many years to come, but it does have the capacity to deliver a provisional ruling within the next few weeks, which could, if it finds there is plausible evidence Israel committed genocide, deliver an order that instructs Israel to end the war and to strike a ceasefire 
within weeks. The hearings began this morning Australian time and lawyers for the South African team mounted their case. The evidence indicates that Israel's actions have violated its obligations under the Genocide Convention, that they continue to violate them, and that Israel has asserted that it intends to continue them. The government of Israel and its military is intent on destroying the Palestinians in Gaza as a group. So lawyers there for the South African, team, uh, South African team mounting their case. Israel's side will have their response tonight, Australian time.